Hi guys, Steady Eddie here, this time taking a walk along the beach. And this particular beach is about 10 minutes walk from Hania Old Town in Crete, the beautiful island of Crete. It's September and the weather is fantastic. And this is really, really a nice place to be. So let me explain what I'm doing in Crete. Well, I've got to go somewhere, haven't I? I haven't travelled for about 18 months. So it's about time I started travelling again and I've chosen this place. So just look at the situation. It's 2021. The pandemic is still a very, very much real thing. Restrictions, amber lists, traffic light systems, they're still all about everywhere. But all I know is that I've got to start travelling again, otherwise I'd go crazy. So basically, there's three options, isn't it? It's the month of September 2021, and where am I going to go? Well, basically it comes down to three options. I can either stay in England and go to work, which isn't necessarily a bad thing to do. I mean, you know, lots of people would love to have work to go to. But I think I've done enough of that over the past year or so. Option number two, I could make an attempt to go to my favourite Asian countries. Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam, Philippines. The fact is that all of those places are having dreadful problems right now. Lockdowns, restrictions. Not only that, but they're also out of season, which means the weather wouldn't be really much cop anyway. But if I really, really wanted to, I could jump through all the hurdles and make it out to Thailand. But you just look at what's on offer there right now. At this moment in time, it seems to me bars have closed. Lockdowns are still very, very much about. And then there's that awful two-week ASQ quarantine. Oh, no, thank you. I don't want any part of that. As for Vietnam, Cambodia, very little is... is been heard of those countries. Philippines the same. So that's option two. Make the effort to go out to Southeast Asia when it doesn't really, really look very good right now, to be honest with you. So option number three, go somewhere else. So where else do you go? Well, <clears throat> I've chosen European locations at this particular one. The reason I've, I've chosen here is because the Greek islands are really, really beautiful at this time of year. The weather is fantastic. I mean, it's gloriously sunny. Months like September, even October, you can't really go wrong with the weather at uh, this time of year. And, you know, it's just a really, really charming, charming place to be. It's better than being back in the UK, going to work. It's better than going out to Southeast Asia right now and you know, being miserable and suffering lockdowns and Southeast Asia not being the way you want it to be. So I've chosen to come here. So just a quick question for you. How, it, how important is it for you personally to have great weather when you go abroad? How important is the weather to you? Do you go abroad exclusively for the weather? Or do you go abroad for other reasons? Well, I can think of lots of re reasons that I, I go, go abroad. But the weather is very, very important to me. I love hot weather. Look at those beautiful, beautiful blue skies. Um, fantastic shorts and t-shirts all, all the way. The weather is all important to me. I mean, in the UK, we have the most unpredictable climate. You know, it's there's only one rule with the weather in the UK. You get what you're given. We get the occasional heat wave, but summer of 2021 in England was not good at all. Here, you simply can't go wrong with the weather. You may get the odd rainy day or two, but that's re really uh, unusual. Here, it's hot weather and cold beer all the way, and that's the way I like it. So, why choose Crete? 
Well, the Greek islands are fantastic. Now, I've only ever been to one of them before, which is the island of Rhodes. I also went there in the month of September a few years ago, and it was beautiful. I mean, very, very laid back and safe and, you know, cultural in a very, very pleasant sort of way. The Greek islands are very pleasant. I don't like the word pleasant. Now, bear in mind, I haven't traveled for 18 months. So really, to get back into the swing of things, I really, really need somewhere simple and somewhere undemanding, somewhere where I can totally relax and do as little as possible uh, without any stress. And also the Greek islands are, uh, you know, steeped in history. You know, I, I think really, if you're gonna travel, you, you have to have at least a little bit of interest in history. I mean, you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do videos on the history of, of the Greek islands, uh, I, I wouldn't want to ram that down anyone's throat, but you've got to have at least some interest in history, it is quite in, quite important. But it's, it's, it's a beautiful uh, environment, Crete is of course the largest of the Greek islands, and it's also quite easy to get to from the UK. I, I went from Stansted uh, with Ryanair, and the flight, it's a one-way ticket, cost me just over a hundred pounds and that's including the uh, the suitcase the 20 kilogram suitcase baggage so that that's very 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 uh, cheap cheap place to get to now what am i expecting of my time in crete i'm expecting great weather i'm expecting to swim in beautiful beaches i'm expecting to relax in a very pleasant cultural environment i'm expecting to explore some marvelous marvelous historical buildings and dramatic landscapes and of course I'm expecting to make some good videos on my YouTube channel food reviews, prices for tourists, that sort of thing so you may wonder if it wasn't for the pandemic uh, would I be here right now? well Perhaps not. Admittedly, perhaps not. Perhaps I, I would actually be in Southeast Asia if, if there was no pandemic, because I've kind of gotten used to that place. And even though it's in the rainy season, uh, you know, I, I feel sort of more at home there now. But the fact is that, I mean, you know, if, if I was in Thailand right now, what exactly would I be doing? Uh, apart from that nauseating ASQ hotel, uh, you know, and having the rainy season upon me, which, which is, is Southeast Asia, it is in the rainy season right now. I mean, what else would we be doing? I could be doing what many Thai vloggers have done this year, filming deserted streets and bar closures and spouting doom and gloom all over the place. No, that's not what I travel for. And I think we've all had enough of the old doom and gloom. So basically what it all comes down to is the big choice. I can either stay in the UK and work, I can head to Southeast Asia and not have a good time and spout doom and gloom, or I can be in a hot, sunny, gorgeous environment with history and culture and beautiful beaches and cold beer and relaxed way of life. Which would you choose at this moment in time? Well, I've chosen this one, and that's why I'm in Crete. So, how long am I going to be in Crete? I don't know. I really, really don't know. All I do know is that I'm in a very, very relaxed place. Um, you, you know, I'm enjoying myself here. The weather's fantastic. The food's lovely. The people are fine. It's it's very safe environment. I'm not in any rush to go anywhere. I'm going to stay here for a while. Maybe see some other places in the island and then think about what are the countries to go next? I don't know. This is this is the start of quite a long travelling expedition, but it's it's different uh, because it, under normal circumstances I always plan my travel. So from the way I go, I know exactly where I'm going. Right now, I came here on a one-way ticket. I don't know how long I'm going to be staying or where I'm going next. It's all dependent on that awful traffic light system, isn't it? green, amber, red and all that kind of stuff. We'll have to see about it. But right now I'm enjoying myself here and I'll be making plenty of videos. So I hope you can join me. 
Thanks to all those people who have been subscribed to this channel for a long time. If you're new to this channel, then make sure you press that subscribe button. It really, really does help. And also the notification bell for latest uploads. So, from Sunny Crete, I will say thanks for watching. Keep thinking positive. Let's hope the worldwide situation gets better very, very soon. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.